Hi, my name is Gian Eugenio Tontini and I'm currently working as a gastroenterologist here at the Policlinico San Donato University Hospital in Milano, Italy. First, I would like to thank the dream team of colleagues and professors involved in this research project entitled Prediction of Clinical Outcomes in Crohn's Disease by Using Confocal Laser Endomicroscopy, results from a prospective multicenter study. The study was conducted in the Department of Medicine 1 in Erlangen, Germany, and in the Department of Gastroenterological Sciences in Padua, Italy. From the natural history of Crohn's disease, we have learned that active inflammation results in clinical flares and transmural adverse events, such as strictures and fistulas, leading to progressive bowel damage. Consistently, during the last 10 years, we have dedicated emerging attention on long-term prognostic factors, early intervention, and treat-to-target strategies to change the natural history of this disease. A few years ago, Confocal laser endomicroscopy has been introduced in digestive endoscopy to enable microscopic imaging of the superficial mucosal layer in real time and in vivo. For this study, we hypothesized that the presence of Crohn's disease-related hallmarks of active large bowel mucosal inflammation as observed by endomicroscopy can affect the clinical course of the disease. In one study published in 2014, focal craptitis and creep architectural abnormality were found reliable markers of Crohn disease inflammation at endomicroscopy. Consistently, patients presenting both these findings were coded as positive at endomicroscopy in the present study. On the left bottom of your screen, you can see an example of severe focal cryptitis revealed by endomicroscopy, while on the right bottom, the presence of crypt architectural abnormality according to crypt density, tortuosity, and lumen shape in a patient with Crohn colitis. At the baseline, we assess endomicroscopy, Crohn disease activity index, Crohn disease endoscopy index of severity, C-reactive protein values in consecutive Crohn disease patients. During clinical follow-up, we focus on major clinical outcome, such as the development of new strictors or fistulas, the need of treatment escalation with biologic immunosuppressant or cystegmine steroids, or the need of hospitalization or surgery related to Crohn disease. As a result, 49 patients were enrolled with a mean follow-up of two years. Confocal images were digitally stored during endoscopy at baseline, reviewed in a blind fashion by two expert operators, postdoc. When comparing the positive and the negative endomicroscopy group with the Fisher extra test, we observed that positive patients have an increased risk of transmural adverse event at one year of follow-up, showing a relative risk equal to four, and notably, the same figure was confirmed even comparing the four-year survival curves of patients with and without a positive endomicroscopy at baseline. In addition, pati patients with positive endomicroscopy showed an increased risk of treatment escalation within the first year of follow-up with a relative risk of three. And again, these findings was confirmed by the rank test for homogeneity based on the four-year survival course. The outcomes, hospitalization and surgery related to Crohn's disease occurred more sporadically and showed only at 20 hours a positive association with endomicroscopy. It is important to underline that at one year follow-up, no clinical outcome was associated to baseline endoscopic index or clinical index, while only patients with elevated CRP values at baseline showed an increased risk of hospitalization or surgery at one year follow-up. In conclusion, our results confirm that endomicroscopy can assess microscopic inflammatory changes conventionally used by standard histopathology to assess diagnosis and disease activity in Crohn's disease. The study shows for the first time that when using the colon, endomicroscopy can predict the Crohn disease worsening leading to transmural complication and medical treatment escalation at one year, performing even better the standard predictors such as CRP and CDIs. Taken together, these initial results suggest that endomicroscopy allows for early risk stratification in Crohn disease patients, thereby potentially improving the timing of treatment strategies targeting mucosal inflammation. Thank you and many thanks to gastrointestinal endoscopy for this opportunity.